Let's make pixel art with Miss Bowley using Google Sheets. What will we learn? So we're going to look at how conditional formatting works in Google Sheets. Conditional formatting is kind of like a basic way of coding. So we're going to learn all about it. We're going to review what greater than, less than, and between and we're going to review those concepts and how they can work in uh, conditional formatting. And we're also reviewing positive and negative integers. And of course, we're exploring making digital art uh, using a method of coding. So it's going to be fun. What you will need is a device that can access Google Sheets. So probably just your usual device that you use for learning. And you're going to need to find a simple image just on Google Images or however you normally find images of your favorite emoji. And I have saved my image on my desktop uh, just to have it ready to go. You can save it in your Google Drive or wherever you normally save images. So those are the two things you'll need. So how do I get into Google Sheets? So first of all, when you go and open a browser tab or a browser window, you're going to see in the top right hand side, you're going to see that little waffle. So you're going to click on that waffle and then you're going to see a menu drop down and you're going to choose Google Sheets from the waffle menu and that will open you a blank Google Sheet. So let's get started. So I'm in Google Sheets and I'm going to start by renaming my sheet. Um, I'm going to call it Pixel Art Bowley. So if you could name your sheet Pixel Art and then your name, that would be wonderful. Now I'm going to insert an image. I'm going to insert that image of my emoji. So I'm going to click on image and then insert over cells. And then I'm going to choose my image from my desktop. So you choose your image from wherever you have it saved and it'll uh, insert over top of my cells and I can actually click on it and move it around because I need to have that image to be able to see what I'm going to be creating. It's like a reference image. I'm going to click on format at the top menu bar here and I'm going to go down and choose conditional formatting right here and it's going to pop open a menu um, on the right side here and then I'm going to click on the range right now I only have one cell selected for my range so I'm going to click on this little square thing and then I'm going to select all of the cells by clicking on that little rectangle that white rectangle and that will select all the cells and then I'm going to choose um, one of my rules. So I'm going to choose is greater than, and I'm going to pick a value for uh, it to be greater than. I'm just going to go with greater than 10, and then I'm going to select a color, okay? And then I'm going to click done. So now I have a rule that if I enter a number greater than 10 anywhere in the spreadsheet, it's going to turn the square yellow. So now I can enter any number greater than 10, if I enter anything lower than 10, it will not turn yellow. Okay, so I'm making a little rule for my spreadsheet. And if I can follow those rules, if I enter something greater than 10, it will do what I asked. Okay, and this is setting the, this rule for the full entire spreadsheet. So anywhere, any cell in the spreadsheet, if I type something greater than 10, it will turn it yellow. Okay, so now what I can do is I can just go around entering numbers greater than 10 and I can draw my emoji. So I'm kind of, what I'm doing here is I'm figuring out because I know that the eyes are going to need a little bit of space because they're those round circular eyes. So I'm, I'm saving three spaces, like three um, columns for the eye, for each eye and I wanna have a space of one column in between. So I'm just counting off to see how wide I should be making this circle. And now I'm just entering uh, random numbers that are greater than 10 to, um, to make my, my cell turn yellow. 
So basically I'm drawing uh, using pixels. These little, each little square is kind of like a pixel or each little rectangle is kind of like a pixel. So I'm just going to continue doing that. I'm actually going to start copying. So you can drag, if you drag this little rectangle downwards, it will copy the number that you put in. And you can also just hit control C, control V. Um, and then I can fill in large areas of yellow. So I'm going to go make my happy face background shape and I'll meet you back when I'm done that. Okay, so now I have my yellow happy face shape. I'm ready to start another rule. So I click add another rule. And then I want to, again, select the whole sheet. So for the range. So I wanna click on that little box to open up. I want this to say one to a thousand. So all of the cells. Okay, so selecting that little white rectangle in the corner. And then for my rule, I wanna try something different this time. So I'm going to go with um, is less than. So let's choose is less than, and I'm gonna choose an integer. I'm gonna choose is less than negative one. And then I'm gonna choose a color. So I'm gonna do the mouth. I'm gonna choose dark red. So I'll click on that. And then I will click done and that will make my rule. So I, anything that's less than negative one, I can type in on top of the cells, the yellow cells, and it will change the rule. Like it'll change the, the color. So if I put negative one, it won't work because I said less than. So I've got to put negative two or something lower than negative two. If I put negative one, if I put zero, those aren't gonna work, okay? So now I'm again, I'm just doing the same process I did before and I'm going to enter negative integers that are less than negative one and I'm going to draw my happy face. And again, I can start copying and pasting uh, numbers. I'm just kind of using the same number after a while. I tested it out to make sure it worked and then now I'm just drawing the shape for the mouth in. So again, I will meet you back once I have the mouth shape complete. All right, all done. So I'm ready to add another rule. Now I'm gonna do the eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna click add another rule again. And I'm going to start by choosing the whole spreadsheet again. So for my range, I'm gonna select everything. And then I wanna choose a different rule again this time. So. Um, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose instead of is don't don't choose is empty um, at this point yet I'm gonna choo choose is between so now I have to put in two values so I'm going to just experiment here this is actually where things got a bit interesting so I'm gonna do is between negative 8 and negative 10 And I'm gonna choose a dark brown or black type color. So let's choose my, how about that one? Perfect, okay, oops. Don't think it worked, let's select it one more time. Okay. It's just not showing up there, so I'll click done. And now I'm gonna test it out. So I'm gonna enter in a number and see if it works. So again, I'm going to place the eyes so that it's symmetrical, so negative 10, turned it red. So it's not it's not going to work if it's negative 10. It's got to be between negative 8 and negative 10. So negative 9 is the only number that will work. So let's enter and see what happens. So because I have that previous rule, it's not working for me for my, um, my, my third rule. So I'm going to have to adjust the ranges. I can't do the full spreadsheet for this. So I'm just going to select range and then instead of the full sheet like I have um, before I'm going to select just this mouth area so I clicked on the mouth area and then I dragged it till I have a full shape and so that's gonna be um, it's gonna apply the rule only to the mouth area 
And then there we go. Now that I've clicked out of there, I it's working, but I'm still gonna select actually for this one, the full, um, the top part of the face where the eyes would be. So just right up there instead of the full spreadsheet. So this wouldn't work if I tried to do like an outline around the happy face. Um, it, it only will work in the range that I selected, so the rectangle that I selected. So now I can type in negative nine here and it's going to turn it black. So actually will work. So you're going to have to experiment. If you create rules that um, kind of contradict each other, then you will have to uh, change the range of your rules. Okay, so you're going to have to play around with it. Um, it does require a little bit of um, testing out. Coding is always like that, where you, you, make, you make the code and then you see if it works and then you need to adjust it if it doesn't work. So there we go, I've got the eyes all done. And now you only need to include three colors. So I now have my three colors, but I am going to add two more colors because I do want to do the crying tears and I'm also going to do the teeth as well. So as before, I click on create new rule. I click on the range and I'm going to set the range again just for the top half of the emoji. Click on um, OK. And then I'm going to just go with is equal to for this one. So I can just select um, just an integer could be a negative or positive integer and I can just like just that one it's not a range it's not um, greater than or less than it's just gonna be is equal to and then I'm gonna select a random number I think I'm gonna do negative 14 so negative 14 is going to be my blue tears so I'm gonna select blue for the color and then I'll click done and then every, t every place that I type in negative 14 in the top part, the top half of the um, rectangle that I selected is going to turn it blue. Okay, so I'll meet you back when I'm all done the tears and then I'm going to do the white teeth. So one thing I noticed is when I was selecting those ranges, all of my rules weren't showing up um, on the conditional formatting menu. Um, so here's how you can see all of your rules. So you just have to select your full spreadsheet. So this is showing me all of my colors and all the rules that I created. So if you're ever trying to remember like, how do I get the red color? How do I get the yellow color? Uh, you can just click on that white rectangle in the left corner and select all the sheets, select all the cells, and then you get your, you can see your rules here. So those were mine. I'm gonna add one more. I'm gonna do is equal to again. And this time I'm gonna select just the full spreadsheet. And I'm going to click is equal to. And then I'll select a random integer just like I did with the blue tiers. So there we go. And then I'm gonna select eight. And then anytime I type that number in, it's going to turn the cell white. So, and I did a number that's much higher than any of the other numbers that I had typed in, um, just because I wanted to stay away from um, having to make any changes to my previous rules. So there we go. Now I'm gonna show you how to get rid of the numbers. I kind of like the numbers there, it kind of looks cool. Um, but if you don't want to have your numbers showing up, I will show you how to get rid of them. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to open up the rule and you're going to change the font color. So see that little A? Change the font color to the same color as the fill color. Okay, so I'll do it again. So I'll click on the yellow rule, open up the font color and I have to pick the exact same yellow that I used. So sometimes we don't pick the right one, whoops. And then you can just go back and edit until you do get the right one. You can do this while you're working, but 
Um, one of the downsides of that is that then you, it's harder to remember for me at least. It was harder for me to remember like what numbers I should be entering. And so that's why I like to see the numbers when I'm working. But you can always do this process while you're working. So I'm just gonna go and select the same color of text for the fill for each of my colors that I, that I used. So I'll meet you back when I'm done that. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how you can make a background color using conditional formatting. So I'm gonna choose, an, I'm gonna click add new rule. Again, I'm gonna select the full spreadsheet range. And then I'm going to choose is empty. So any place that I haven't entered any numbers is going to uh, turn a color. So now I can choose my background color. I don't really like that one. Um, so I'm just gonna try a couple different ones and see which one I like. Um, I don't really like that one. Um, so I'm gonna continue choosing. There we go, I like that one. And then there we go. So I have my background. I've done more colors than needed. You only need to do three, but there's no maximum. So go ahead and try it out. If you want a challenge, you can go um, and do a few more additional colors. So what does my pixel art need? Your art needs to have at least three colors. More is fine, but you need to have at least three. You want to have a conditional formatting rule that includes at least one of the following. So greater than, less than, between, which I showed all three of those in the video. You only need to include one of those. You can also use the condition of is equal to, uh, which I find to be easier than these other ones here. Um, but you need to have at least one of the challenging ones and you must include some negative integers and some positive integers as well. And I wanted to show my conditional formatting rules um, just so you can see them. Thanks so much for watching. I cannot wait to see your emoji art.